hip hop turns the human brain into a supercomputer. What? Yeah. Anthony here for D News. Next to me is Jelly D. Welcome, sir. Thanks for having me. Uh, I have you out here today because recently some scientists found out some very interesting things about what happens in the brain of freestylers. Go on. Yeah, so I'm going to give you guys the science. Jelly D is going to translate what I say on the fly off the top of his head. Ready? Beat, please. So, researchers wanted to find out what's happening in the creative mind during the moment of creation. They specifically wanted to define the neural response to a subject's complete immersion in a creative activity, which is typified by self-motivation, positive emotional valence, and a loss of self-consciousness. All right, no stress. It's time to let go of things like the self-consciousness. So here on D Discovery News, I be loving these dudes, and they be giving me words and clues like um, complete immersion in the creative activity that you be giving me, and that's exactly how I'm living, G. So the team from the National Institute of Deafness and Other Communication Disorders placed 12 professional rappers into MRI machines, started playing a beat, and monitored what happened during spontaneous lyrical improvisation. All right, all right, all right, yo, yo, here we go. This is what happens when you let 12 rappers flow in one room. It's like a rapper reality show. And, um, you know, this is the bestest. It's like I should be part of the Institute of Deafness. And I mean, like, dopeness. And I mean, like, freshness. Uh, this is spontaneous lyrical improvisation. Stress this. Go ahead and put me on my guest list. Put myself on my own guest list because that's ridiculous. So they found some really significant activity in the medial prefrontal cortex, which is the part of the brain that controls self-motivation and the integration of information. But there was decreased activity in the dorsolateral prefrontal region, which is all about attention and self-monitoring. Essentially, information was being taken in and expelled but the ability to self-censor was totally shut down. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, here it is, the medial prefrontal cortex. It's making me self-motivated to go and have sex and just rhyme on the beat. Shut down my dorsolateral prefrontal region, because that's something that I don't be needing. The researchers also noticed high activity in the parasylvian system, where language production happens, and the amygdala, which is linked to feeling emotions. Yeah, so whatever it's worth, Parasylvian system is somewhere in Middle Earth, and that's where my amygdala starts firing off and making me emotional. That's why I probably got the bonerful. What's interesting is that the levels of activity in these systems weren't above average. Like, you couldn't say they were heightened, but the researchers observed that they were more tightly connected. So the pattern suggests that each individual system wasn't monitoring itself as carefully, almost as though they were networked together and offloading responsibilities to one another. Just a big neural network. That's right, we got the neural network working all together. Yeah, they like to do it in any kind of weather, like a whole family of neurons and systems. And when you don't put them together, then you'll be pissing them off. And when they get together, motions get soft. And that's when you bust the dopest ass rhyming off. And yeah, that's why I'm here on Discovery News. And uh, yeah, without neurons, you can't lose. So the act of being creative, of living in the moment, and not being self-conscious actually turns your brain into a super supercomputer that is bigger than the sum of its parts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is my first person shooter, but the bullets are words and I'm a supercomputer. I'm like Johnny Five, yes I am alive on the microphone because I'm bigger than the sum of my parts and I'm on the phone uh, calling home because I'm like, Mom, you uh, said I would never be the bomb, but now I got all these neurons in my amygdala going on and they're going off and she didn't understand any of that shit. <laughs> so there you go, that is what is happening in the mind of somebody during the moment of creation. Thank you so much, Jelly D. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, absolutely. You can find this man on Twitter at Jelly D or on YouTube at MC Jelly D. And be sure to subscribe here for more D News. Hey, reminder guys, the entire D News team is replacing food in their diet this week. You can check out the video on why and how we're doing it and our daily diaries on our Facebook page. Bird. That was awesome, man. Super fresh. <laughs> This is, we're bringing this back. Yeah, it's it's, back. You're allowed to bring it back sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Throwback Thursday.